Today we will have a look at the Gamma View Servimeter with the sodium iodide scintillation probe. We will use it to look for radiation in Laguna Coast Wilderness Park here in Southern California. The meter and probe fit easily in your hands. The unit rests conveniently and safely in the shoulder pack. The Gamma View is ideal for detecting low levels of gamma and x-ray radiation. The sodium iodide probe is up to 53 times more sensitive than the common Pancake GM probe. The operating range is 1 micro Rincon per hour to 5 millirincons per hour. The energy range is 20 kilo electron volts to 1.5 mega electron volts. Bluetooth is optional, used with the Observer BLE Android app. This feature generates saved data and a GPS stamp on your Android phone. The Observer software for your PC is included, which generates saved data and allows the user to change settings on the Gamma View. To start the Gamma View, we power on, holding down the power control. The screen displays the system information and icons. After boot up, we can press the light control to illuminate the display. Hold the control for a few seconds to keep the light on if you wish. The display is in micro Rincons per hour, which can be changed easily. Press the mode control to switch units. Millirincons per hour. Counts per second. Micro Sieverts per hour. Total counts. And counts per minute. Here is the control for total counts. You can see the time interval is here at one minute. The alarm can be enabled or disabled with this control. The threshold can be changed with the plus and minus controls. We can see different units using the mode control again. We will keep the alarm disabled for this experiment. Today we will attempt to detect low-level norm radiation near a fault line in a Southern California state park. Norm radiation often consists of daughter products from uranium-238 and thorium-232. Radon is the isotope that we usually hear about. We will see what we can find in a prehistoric cave located in the park. The cave consists of sandstone and mudstone. The cave was formed by water flow and erosion. It is located near fault lines. During the Miocene era, about 18 million years ago, this area was submerged under the ocean. What we see here today is part of the Topanga Formation. For a background radiation count, I had taken a reading of ambient air at about 35 feet above the ground, near the park. 1,249 counts in one minute. Right now, I am inside the cave. We are looking at the dose rate. It's quite low and it fluctuates, making it difficult to see any deviations in the various locations. For this experiment, make sure the audio on the Gamma View is activated. Counts mode is the most direct method of measurement. Audio and counts are the most immediate indicators of radiation emission. We will compare total counts over one minute intervals in different locations to hopefully find any deviations and surges. The total in the cave is 2,840 counts in one minute. We can use the Observer app on the Android connected wirelessly, as you can see. It mirrors readings from the Gamma View. We can observe and record the readings with a GPS stamp. There are a numeric display and a graphic display. We can change the units. The app can also perform a timed count independently. The user can share saved files via text, email, and radresponder.net, if you have an account. Now I will survey the ground near the cave. 
the ground outside produced 2,296 counts in one minute. Reviewing the results, the ground and cave emitted noticeably more radiation than ambient air. The radiation surges in the active areas are minute, but the gamma view was sensitive enough to detect something. The gamma view utilizes scintillation, the process through which ionizing radiation is converted into visible light photons. The crystal emits light photons when gamma and X-ray radiation are present. The photons are converted to electrons in the photomultiplier tube, which counts the pulses. Let's have a look at the menu control options on the gamma view. This is auto averaging. That means at low count levels, the reading is based on the radiation detected in the previous 30 seconds. That time interval decreases when radiation levels increase. The feature can be enabled or disabled. Data logging. This activates or deactivates internal memory so that data can be uploaded via the Observer USB software. Window. This option enables or disables the single channel analyzer function. The gamma view can be used as an SCA by limiting the recorded counts to a specific window of energies within the gamma spectrum. The setup is performed in the Observer USB software. Audio. You can choose Normal or Div 10. When Audio Div 10 is chosen, a single click will sound for each 10 counts detected. Bluetooth LE. We activate this if we want to use the Observer BLE smartphone app. Otherwise, leave it off to save battery power. Let's have a quick look at the Observer USB software download for Windows, connected via a USB cable. First, you will see the window appear when you plug in the cable. You can see real-time readings here, in the various units of dose and counts, and view a real-time graph and grid with time and date stamp. You can echo the display on the unit. If you want to display different units independently, turn the echo off and choose the various units. CPS, CPM, micro R per hour, milli R per hour, micro sieverts per hour. A software-based alarming function is available as well. You can change the auto averaging time here. 30 seconds is the default. Here is a grid which catalogs and displays counts at an adjustable time interval and two values of your choice with a time and date stamp. Here we have save the data and clear. We can enable the scrolling graph screen here of the collected data. Dose or counts is the y-axis. Time and date is the x-axis. We can change the time interval to change the window of the data displayed. Right now the window is at 1 minute. I will change it to 10 minutes. Here we have View, Preferences. Here are the chart settings. Auto save and clear every. This function will automatically save and clear the chart at the number of minutes entered. It is now set to 60 minutes. Use Audible Alarm. This will enable or disable the alarm on the computer's sound system. Grid Settings. Write to grid every. This entry will set how often a new data point will appear on the grid. Right now it is set to 30 seconds. Auto Save and Clear Grid every. This will automatically save and clear the grid at the number of data points selected. We now have it set at 100. Additional grid data. This allows the setting of units of measurement shown in the grid for value 1 and value 2. Let's have a look at the calibration screen. We can change more of the settings on a meter in this screen. It is best to leave some calibration settings alone unless you are a technician calibrating the meter. We have here calibration date, dead time, sensitivity, high voltage, and threshold. The other settings are safe to change. Here is the SCA window that I mentioned earlier. Right now it is set at a cesium-137 peak energy range 
of 61 millivolts to 71 millivolts. This window is used during calibration or if the user wishes to survey only for cesium-137. I can change this window to another isotope if I wish. I will approximate a sodium-22 peak at 40 to 60 millivolts. This would be useful if we were working with sodium-22 in calibrations or surveys. Alarm settings. We can enable or disable the alarm and change the threshold on the gamma view unit. This is the preset counting time in seconds. Enter the number of seconds to set the default time for taking a time count. We used 60 seconds earlier. Here are the data logging settings for the gamma view. Use data logging. Enable or disable. Data logging interval, which is set at one minute. This value can only be changed through the observer software. Circular buffer. When this box is checked, the oldest collected data will be overwritten with the most recent data collected. Clear memory, which is self-explanatory. Backlight on time. This sets how many seconds the backlight will be on when pressing the backlight button. It is now set to 7 seconds. Contrast. This sets the contrast of the LCD display on the unit. Auto averaging. This enables or disables the auto averaging feature on the unit. When unchecked, the gamma view is in fast response mode. Clicks enabled. This enables or disables the audio clicks. Clicks divided by 10, that is div 10. As we mentioned earlier, a single click will sound for each 10 counts detected. Quiet mode. This enables or disables all sounds, except alarm and overrange. We can update the changes or close without saving the changes. From functions, you can synchronize the gamma view to the PC clock to update time and date on the meter. You can download data from the internal memory on the gamma view from previous readings taken in the field. That was our demonstration of the gamma view. For more detailed specifications and ordering information, please follow the link to our website.